guys, it's a Hesky Productions here. Today, I'm going to show you on how to um, import models from Sketchfab to IM3D. Okay, the apps you need are IM3D Pro, but uh, if you try to do it on the regular IM3D, it's going to glitch and it's not going to work. I think Pro costs money, so if you don't have any money, just go to the store and get, go to your the real store, like like the real life store, and um, buy your iTunes card, and there you go, redeem your stuff, and there you go, you got money now. Okay. And also, you're going to need Fonto and just in case documents. Um. So first of all, you're going to go on Safari and go to Sketchfab.com. And, uh, make sure you have an account, so, yeah, if you don't have an account, then it won't work for you, so, yeah, so I have my Sketchfab account, this is my Sketchfab account, and, yeah, so, um, yeah, so you're going to need to, um, make an account, create an account, if you already have an account for Sketchfab, then log in, log in. And yeah, so first of all, search up, uh, search up, um, FNAF, or FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's. And the models have to be something that's compatible for, um, for, like, the stuff. So, I'm gonna tell you, just, for example, like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna search up Freddy, search up Freddy, um, Fred, Fred, Freddy, and, uh, this is some of the models that we have there. If you guys are just starting off and you really want Starter Freddy, then get this one, because it's actually more, um, compatible. Compatible, and, yeah. So, now, I'm going to download a real file that actually would work. I think it would work, and, uh, yeah, so, Doll Freddy, let's see if Doll Freddy actually works, um, dang it, it's not, it's not downloadable, but, um, here is, uh, this one probably works, pretty sure that would work, um, it could be FBX, or, uh, 3DS, or, um, Day, day or, or OBJ, but I'm gonna download this one. Let's press download, then press download again, and uh, whatever you want to quit the author, whatever I don't care. And, and yeah, so then we'll press open in Fonto. And for the um, day ones, you're going to see open IP Pro, it will not work if you do that. So, if you're downloading a day file or file that whatever does that, and just go to those, um, other things, and I don't know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just figure that out later. I'm gonna go to, make sure you get all the textures, open apps, import with IMPD Pro, and, yeah, it will work, this time. Okay, so just, just press OK. And then go back to that website thing, whatever it is. Go back to the website. So I found him ready. And uh, then go to back. I don't know why, but this keeps on running for you, oh yeah. Phantom Freddy 1, I did get that first yeah, yeah, I got that one, um, Phantom Freddy 2. But if you're recording, it's gonna be harder to, um, to import, but fine with me, because it's easy. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to Phantom Freddy 2, Phantom of Teeth, and, yeah. And then, now, I'm going to go back here. Also, if you want to go on more, just press more, and, um, yeah, just then press Phantom 3D USBX, whatever your model is, but don't do the model first, because there's no, no textures, you're gonna look all white and boring, so, 
yeah, so press I import to scroll this, and then you'll see this. It's airdrop, paramount, I find stuff, so whatever it says. Press I import with IT Pro. And yes, it will be there. I'm going to make another scene. And press it, go to add import. Sometimes it will not be there, but the thing is, you just have to, um, you just have to, um, do, just go this, and you just uh, to remove some slides or something, but, uh, don't remove the, um, the thing or whatever, so do like this, whoa, I got a lot of these, man, well, do, like, try to remove a lot of the thing, don't try to remove a lot, though, Um, okay, now you're going to go back on IV Pro, and you're going to see your model. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go back to my, my scene, and it will be there. So, now you're going to see it's somewhere over here. So, then go on this one, add to scene. Now, you just have to do this, and, uh... Yeah, do like that. Now you have your model. Now you can put the textures on, and I'll show you guys on how to put the textures on this video too. First of all, you're going to um, get that frame or something. So first of all, you're going to get the thingy right here, and it is not really that hard to do. The textures will be there. I promise it will be there, and. Um, I think it was this one, right? Okay, then do this one. And then, yeah, it, now do this texture. Just do a double tap, double tap on what part, and it, it will be there. So, I'm going to try this one. Just press apply. If you want your own textures, like, good textures, um... And then yeah, so I'm gonna do a random texture like from here or something like uh like that. And uh, yeah. The, this all this other stuff is Gucci. Like look at this hand. Look at this. I have no idea why it's like that. Just go back, um, there's gonna be these thingies, but you're going to do like this, so, get that. It's gonna look cool, like that. Sure, you've got those eyeballs, because eyeballs are important. Double, double tap, because if you're trying to do eyeballs, they're gonna be kind of hard. Just go, just go on whatever part, and then you go on the eyes, like that, and then go to options, material properties, texture, and, um, go to the phantom eyes, something the phantom eyes um like this one press apply and then for the teeth it's fine but this is going to be the texture and texture you're going to find it here phantom teeth and that's how you import your model In the next video i will do a video i will do a tutorial on how to um how to animate on IMG Pro, and yes, so, thanks for watching guys, if you liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, and, um, see you guys next time.